Yes, it's another new game, the second one of the day. Um, the first of my two videos a day for the uh, Christmas classics. So normal content will resume Monday, Monday to Friday. But today I thought I'd look at another new game. Uh, I've just purchased this, so no idea what I'm going to be doing. So this is going to be a pre-Christmas fun one. Hi there, Steve here, and welcome to Project High Rise. Yeah, I've literally well, purchased this game uh, yesterday evening. Uh, I've just started it up and uh, adjusted the audio volume down a little bit, um, but I can probably reduce that down a little bit more. Let's bring that down. There we go. Um, so let's have a look at the tutorial, shall we? Construction, I think, then. So if you're new to my channel, as always, welcome. There's a new OMSI video on the channel every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Something from Trains on Trains Tuesday. Something from Fernbus on Fernbus Thursday. And something from me live on Twitch on a Saturday night. Uh, that video then goes live on YouTube on a Sunday. And as this is Christmas, this video is going live on Christmas Eve. Um, between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, I'm going to be putting out two videos a day. The normal content, Monday to Friday, and then something new or something classic um, as well. So plenty of content to keep you going over the Christmas period. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, follow me on the social media links at the top of the screen. And yeah, let's go then. So hello, you must be the new architect. Welcome. What's that? You say this is your first time on a construction site? Well, I'm the construction supervisor around here and I'll get you up to speed in no time, boss. Let's start with showing you around the site. Okay, so why did he move to up there? Okay, first of all, you need to know how to get around the site. You can move your view by holding down your left mouse button and dragging. Okay, we can do that. Uh, you also need to zoom in, which we can do with the middle wheel. Good. Ready to build. We have some empty space on the upper floor. Up here, I'm guessing then. Let's build a new office there. So we have some more rent money coming in. First, we'll add a new empty office space. Click on the office icon. Okay, the one down there, hidden behind the microphone. That's always useful. Uh, allocate spaces for offices. Oh, I see that's empty space. Okay, so I can put that in there. Okay. Right click on the next. Right click to exit placement mode. Okay. Click on this office. Right, a few different office types of tenants could occupy this small office. Let's pick insurance agents because they're the least demanding. Are they now? Okay, several tenants are applying for this vacancy. Mouse over them to see more information and then pick any one from the list. For example, you can pick the first one. Well, he's going to pay 110 in rent. He needs an electrical line. Expect copying services. He's going to pay 120. Needs an electrical line. Expects copying services. He's going to pay 110. Okay, well, he's going to be pay more. Got it, boss. Our team of construction workers is building out the office space. Let's wait until they're done. So it's a bit of an office block management sort of game then. This might be a good time to talk about game speed. To speed up the game, click on the speedy up arrow. Okay. In the lower left corner, you can also use the number key two on your keyboard. Why do I want to speed up? Okay. One more hint. You can also pause and unpause the game by clicking the pause button. No, really? I like a little sound. That's quite cool. Uh, I'll hit the space bar. Feel free to try it out if you'd like, and then click continue when you're done. Okay. Now that we've filled that space, we should start expanding the building. Right, boss, we have to build out more floor space. Click on the build button. Okay. Now select the new floor. Oh, God. Oh, we can go down as well as up. Um, we're now adding new floor tiles. Fill the green area. Okay. Okay, 
Well done. Don't forget to right click to exit field mode. Okay. While our builders are working on the new floor, we're going to hook up electricity because all tenants need power. Click on the utilities. Ah, okay. So it's a bit like a sim sort of thing. Um, what you see now is the utility view of your building. Click to place the electricity button. Okay, so you want to go. The builder's now finished building the new floor tiles. We'll continue once the floor is ready. Right, okay. So, should we add a restaurant? Your tenants would appreciate a nice lunch spot. Click on the restaurant button. Okay. So I can put that in there then, can't I? Finally, you now need to find a new tenant for this new vacancy. So click on it. So we've got two potential tenants for the food court. So original Evanston Bagels wants to move in, pays 125 in rent, needs electricity. We can do that. Likes high traffic areas. And he's going to pay. So we'll go for the more expensive one. Great, your workers will build out the restaurant in no time. There's one more thing we should learn about construction, and that is how to add whole new floors. Follow me to the top of your building. Well, what if I don't like heights? Okay, this building is not very tall. No, you're right there. Um, so we're going to add a new floor and then connect it up to the elevators and utilities. First, click the building button. Okay, we can do that. New floor. Now place the new floor tiles all across the roof you're building. Can I drag it? I can. Cool. There's one snag, however. Our construction workers can't get there. Let's extend the elevator to go to the new floor. Once again, click on the build button. Click on the elevator button. And extend the elevator up above. There we go. Okay, every floor needs utilities. In order to hook up to a new floor, you'd have to place your utility closet first. And then you can extend power lines across the floor. Click on the utilities. Now select the wiring closet. That goes in there then. That takes up one little space, okay. Okay, right. So that was phone services. TV services and electricity and now we hook up to electricity on the entire new floor like we did before so it's utilities and then add the wires and just drag it done well done now you know the basics of high-rise construction there is much more to learn but you'll learn that on the job good luck so I'm guessing the aim is then See, this is our money. The tenants pay rent every night at midnight. So it's all about making money then. Okay. Tutorial is over. You can look around, explore, click continue to exit the main menu. Right. So we'll carry on with the next tutorial then. We'll go with tenants and not David. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Who did you say you are? Oh, you're the new owner. Please excuse me. No one told me you were here. Good. Help is hard to find. Just one moment. I have to finish up this call. As the building supervisor, I have to deal with all kinds of tenant problems. Actually, maybe you can help. Along the way, I can show you how the building operates. Okay. Right. Let's see. What's first on our list? Ah, yes. This tenant is rather unhappy. It looks like they need a phone connection in their office. Let's hook it up before they get upset and move out. So, it's... Click on the button to open utilities. Uh, phone. Connect. And from there, I'm guessing. Get the phone line to the office, but it's not connected to the outside world. We need to have at least one phone switchboard in the building to provide a phone service. 
Utility connectors belong in the basement. This building has plenty of room. Click on the utilities button again. Phone. And that's 10 phone connections. Oh, okay, so that adds 50. All right, okay. I've got to build it. That connects the phone line. Yeah, I get that. Oh, now he's not happy. How is this tenant doing? Much better, it seems. Very well. Let's see what we can do next on the list. Let's see who else is unhappy in this building. Click on the overlays button in the upper left corner of your screen. Uh, satisfaction. Well, I could see that before I clicked the button, really, couldn't I? Click the overlays button again to turn it off. Right. Now click on the tenant. So the tenant's considering moving out. Bottled water service need needed. Okay, so how do we? Let's build a special needs, not special needs. Let's build the special service they need. Uh, right click to close the tenant info. All right, services live in a separate section of the build menu. Click on the services. Uh, business support services. So bottled water. So that's gonna have to go in there. While well, the workers build the new service, so let's take a look at our finances. Click on the money. Okay. This is our daily cash flow. Rent money comes in every day at midnight, and then expenses and construction costs get subtracted. Right click to close this dialog. So, as long as we're bringing in more than we're paying out, we should be okay. Money comes from tenants who pay rent. Click on any office or restaurant to find out more. Okay, so a sub shop is happy that rent cost is lower than expected. Uh, they did not turn a profit yesterday. There were no, too few customers or too much competition. So he hasn't earned anything today. The amount of daily rent on the right shows how much money they'll pay every day. The amount can be adjusted up or down, which will impact both your bottom line and their happiness. Right, I'm glad that you stopped by. We were able to talk about our budgets and tenant happiness. Make sure you use overlays to inspect the building on a regular basis. Uh, and click on tenants to find out why, uh, find out if they're happy and what they want. Story is over. Well, he never got his bottles, his bottles of water. Right, okay. So next is Prestige. We're playing Call of Duty. Oh blimey, we zoomed in. Okay, hello again, welcome back. Our tenants seem to be very happy and they're paying rent on time, which is a great first step. And now that our budget is stable, let's talk about prestige. Prestige is what separates famous buildings from mediocre ones. Most importantly, high prestige will attract high-end tenants who are willing to pay more in rent. So the higher your prestige, the better, obviously. You currently have zero. Uh, so that's the star down here. Uh, zero prestige points as you can see at the bottom of the screen one way to increase prestige is to increase your person population so that more people know about your building let's grow this building to have 20 population which will increase our prestige add two more small offices to your building and we'll continue once they've moved in okay so construction offices Can't place a new floor there. Okay. Why can't I? Why isn't let me place an office? What am I doing wrong? Construction. Uh, okay. Forgotten how to do it. Okay, space, small office. Okay, now that's it. I got it. I remember. Let's have to see what. So he's got to walk through his office to get to. Okay. So he wants to pay 105, so we'll let him move in. And he wants to pay that, so let him move in. Okay. 
So we're waiting for them to move in then. So that's our main entrance then on the main floor. So you've got the service bit down here. So the construction work, I can, I like the fact I can zoom in, that's quite cool. So they're going to move in. Well done, look at your prestige. One! Woohoo! You now have one prestige point thanks to your building size. You can now, you can mouse over it to get the information. Let's continue when you're ready. Okay. As you probably noticed, this also unlocks some new building options, did it? In the bottom menu, for example, you can now decorate your hallways with wallpaper and furniture. As you gain prestige, more types of build options will become available. So keep an eye on them. Feel free to explore your new build options and let's continue when you're ready. There. My decorative elements to your building. Okay. So you've got furniture. And lobby chair. Will they use it? Dark brown cabinet, dark brown cabinet, dark brown cabinet. Lighting. I well, didn't seem to do much, did it? Okay, so I can add lighting. Ceiling fixture. Alright, yeah, I'll get that. Another way to increase our prestige further is by redecorating and improving our image in the eyes of the city. Let's get an interior decorator on the case. Click on the consultants button at the bottom. Okay. Add uh, now build an office. Oh, they want a lot. Flipping cheek, they want an office. Great, now we have a consultant who will help us with some of our so, uh, consultant info. Right click on the influence counter. This dialogue shows the various consultants you can hire and what they can do for us. The interior decorator offers various aesthetics upgrades. Right now we only have enough influence to unlock small artworks. Select them. Very good. We spent 10 influence points. Oh, I see. So as we spend them, they go back down again. We unlocked access to a variety of small art pieces. Let's use them to improve your lobby. Click on the art button. Uh, art is not cheap. I'm sure our tenants would appreciate it. Thousand. Ecky thump. Things are starting to look much better, don't you think? Well, it's expensive bit of art. I don't know if you've noticed, but your prestige also increased by one point. Yay, we're on two. Art pieces are one way to boost your building's prestige, and prestige unlocks new abilities. Okay, so it's all about leveling up then. To recap, interior decorators are just one type of consultant. Uh, your influence points comes from. Happy tenants and then consultants help you spend influence points on various types of building improvements. When we have some time, try building other ones as well. Tutorial is over. Okay. Uh, disrepair. Oh my god, look at the state of this. Uh, hi boss, I'm the maintenance supervisor. Glad you could come over this apartment building on such a short notice. What a mess we have on our hands. Also, it's not just offices. We can do an apartment. Oh, I like the idea of that. Looks like the previous manager didn't do any building maintenance here. Uh, every rentable space is dirty. There are water stains everywhere and tenants are unhappy. I need your permission to fix this. Okay, this will cost us a little bit of cash, but we can get this place fixed up in no time. Click on this top floor apartment. Okay. So basic studio. That is a basic studio. Uh, could not dispose of our trash yesterday. Need more trash bins on this floor. So if I click on the little spanner then. Great. Let's wait for a repair person to come over and fix it. Feel free to speed up the game if you'd like. And we'll continue when they're done. So I do like the idea of the fact you can do an apartment building. I thought it was just going to be offices. Oh, here's our repair person. He just walked straight in. Didn't even knock or anything. What the hell is he doing to that man? He's a bit up close and personal there, isn't he? See, the man's now left. One down, a few more to go. Fortunately, we have a lot of cash laying around. So, we can call in a mass renovation of all units. So, let's show me how. First, by start clicking on the maintenance office. 
We just start reading the paper. Um, the maintenance office repairs broken elevators and escalators and renovates parts of the building that have become worn out. The maintenance crew can be sent to renovate rundown parts of the building. To renovate five total centers. Renovations are scheduled. You will see the maintenance crew are going to each tenant and doing repairs. It costs us a pretty penny, but it's much faster than ordering repairs one by one. You can watch your crew go around and do repairs, then click continue when you're ready. So, five spaces, one, two, three, four, five, so they're all going to get repaired. And I have a shiny new apartment building. I think this is going to be one of those games that's just going to take uh, time away from me. <laughs> it's just going to be one of those, it's like, oh my god. I realise the overlay, uh, by the way, was blocking some of the text when the text appears in the middle. Um, the overlay was blocking it, which is why I was uh, reading it out. So the overlay is new at the top of the channel. Um, maybe a few tweaks, but uh, it's got all the relevant uh, information there. So check out social media that's up there. Um, obviously YouTube, you know, because you're here. Uh, Twitter's on the left um, and then Twitch to the left of my name in the middle and then the Facebook page please do check out the Facebook page we've also got a Steam group um, which uh, we'll be adding onto that page at some point which is uh, under Sims and stuff right so all the renovations are done so yeah it does say at the top there but you can't quite see it there is one more thing that your apartment needs and that is trash bins uh, apartments and restaurants tend to produce a lot of trash and recyclables we're having some space on each floor that's going to be used just for trash bins click on the infrastructure button and then trash trash bin It's a big bin. Great. This will now make uh, residents much happier. There's one more step we need to follow. I guess we need someone to empty the trash. Yes. The trash bins need to be emptied out to a central collection facility. Let's place one now. Fortunately, we have a lot of room for that in the basement. So, infrastructure. Trash. And I can go down there. There we go. Great. Once this is built, our maintenance crew will be able to collect trash from each floor and empty it out into its collection room as needed. The place looks much better than it did. Um, we found it, doesn't it? Goes to show a little bit of repair and maintenance can go a very long way to help keeping tenants happy. Yay! This tutorial is over. You can look around and explore or click continue to exit to the main menu. That's that one done. So user interface is the last one. Hello again boss. Now that you're familiar with your building, let me introduce you to all the different user interface elements. You can use them to get more information about the building and to manage your business more efficiently. This might take a few minutes. Ready? Ready? We'll start from the build menu. You already know how to build. Uh, build things but let's look at the other buttons and displays okay on the lower left side are speed controls we know about that the large display in the middle is the cash yeah we know about that next to it is a loans button oh we can borrow money so we can actually take out a credit card a bank loan a commercial bank loan or a private equity loan okay next to your cash display you have the prestige we know about that and a population which is the amount of people in the building we know about that Next is the buzz counter. Buzz comes from happy visitors. Once you have enough, you can use it to start a media campaign. Okay, you have 10 media buzz. Spend buzz on a media campaign to give your building an additional boost. At the moment they're all locked. Because they cost like 50, but that's useful to know, I suppose. The influence counter, we know about that. Uh, variety of buttons. Uh, building construction and maintenance 
Uh, you already know how to build things, so I'll let you explore them later on. For now, let's move on. There are two special buttons worth mentioning in detail. First, this button will let us examine what contracts we've signed with the city or if some new contracts are available. Go ahead, click on it. Okay, city contracts. To take on city contracts to boost your bottom line, you can have two contracts at any time. The city wants more people in this part of town, increasing your building population to 50. I see, so they'll pay up front if I'm going to say I'm going to do that. The city's Department of Planning and Development wants to encourage small landlords to improve their buildings, reach daily rent revenues of 1,000 to be awarded a neighbourhood development grant. Okay. Second, I have a surprise for you. We are one of the first companies in the business to utilise an electronic data processing machine. The system is called ADA 360. It's a cutting edge data tabulation machine. Click on the button to select it. God. We splurged and got a high end model with 8 kilobyte of memory. People say this technology will revolutionise everything. Feel free to run a report or two. Just report. And the prestige rating. Population feedback. Okay, yes. Okay. Now in the upper left corner, we have some visual visualization aids. The first one shows a variety of different heat map overlays. Why oh, do you want that? Play around with those in the actual game. The second button shows your utility your utilities and how they're hooked up. Okay, so you can have a quick look at that to make sure everything's going to every floor. Yep. I like that. And the third button shows the construction view of the building. Okay. Finally the buttons in the lower right uh, control the game itself. You can adjust game options, save the game, and exit to the menu there. Okay. How about that for a whirlwind tour of the interface? There's a few more elements that we haven't seen, but that's no problem. If you ever need a hint about any interface elements, just hover your mouse over it, and the info box will appear with additional information. I think we're done here. This tutorial is over, and you can look around and explore to continue to exit to the main menu, which is what we'll do. So, there we go. That's a quick run through the tutorials of Project High Rise. That's as far as I've got with the game. Which I haven't played it. Um, and I think I will be. So, if you want me to carry on uh, with this game, um, I will be playing it myself. But if you want me to run through something on the YouTube channel, uh, something you want to see more of, um, as I said in the video that went out uh, earlier today on uh, Christmas Eve, I do plan on a, a Saturday. Uh, putting out something new, something different maybe, um, something a bit like this, um, city car driving went out um, earlier than this on the same day um, to try and keep with the driving theme, not sure if that's going to be something that I will continue on with. Um, this though I think is one of those games that um, yeah, I think I'll play, but it's whether you want to see me play it. So. There we go then, this is the first one of the two uh, videos going out on Christmas Eve. Or sorry, the second one of the two videos going out on Christmas Eve. Uh, there'll be two on uh, Christmas Day and all the way through till New Year's Eve. So plenty of content to come from me over the Christmas period. Um, if you're watching this on Christmas Eve, uh, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. If you're watching this over the Christmas period, I hope you've had a very Merry Christmas. And I'll catch you soon. Until the next time then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching.